Now, look, y'all know I'm somebody that always says it ain't over till it's over because I do believe that. And I do still believe that anything's possible till it ain't possible anymore. But with this latest report with Odell Beckham Jr., I just feel like the, the Ravens chances, they're not they aren't looking too good right now. Uh, when it comes to landing him. But hey, again, we'll see. We'll see. We won't know till we know. But based off of this latest report, uh, I don't know. But let's read it. It came from Ian Rappaport. And also Justina Anderson. First, it came from Justina Anderson because she said that Odell Beckham Jr. will be visiting directly with the New York Jets. Uh, he was going to be flying into uh, New York on Monday or New Jersey, wherever their facility is at. He was going to be flying in there uh, on Monday. And I'm sure he's a little bit familiar with the area. I would think he was. Uh, but anyway, um, Ian Rappaport said the Jets' long-awaited meeting with wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. will be multifaceted. It will include not only a physical. So, okay, it's like including a physical. You want to see what type of shape he's in. You can see all the videos. You can see the workouts from afar. But you want your own doctors to see. All right, hey, how's Odell Beckham Jr. looking? How them reflexes? How them joints? How your bones doing? How's your body overall? You want a thorough examination to make sure that he is truly in good shape. We know it's been a while for Odell Beckham Jr. The last time we saw him playing in the NFL uniform was the Super Bowl two years or two Super Bowls ago. So it's been a little while, but they want to do a physical. But anyway, continuing, it says it will include not only a physical, but also a thorough discussion of what to expect, and see, I like this one, in an Aaron Rodgers-led offense. See, that, that part right there. They like, uh, to give him a friendly reminder, like, hey, look, 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 look. We're going to get Aaron Rodgers. You, you, you ain't got to worry about that. We're we going to get Aaron Rodgers. It's only a matter of time. It's, it's been a long time. Now they're saying that it could be during the draft. Like, during, uh, it's like, just, just get it over with. Just make it happen, please, so we can all move forward. So... Until the next big QB trade, whoever that could be. But anyway, they, they let it be known, like, hey, it's going to be an Aaron Rodgers-led offense. And you know how those go, right, Odell? Like, okay, but see, this part was interesting. Because it says, what to expect in an Aaron Rodgers-led offense with a deep wide receiver room. Now, it's a good problem to have. Um, but... That would sort of be letting Odell Beckham Jr. know, like, look, man, we know how you were with the Giants. We know how you were for a lot of the time in Cleveland. But once he got traded to the Rams, that's when things sort of took a shift. Because when he went to the Rams, um, he wasn't the number one guy anymore. And even in Cleveland, like, I think Cleveland was more like a 1A, one 1B a, one a, one type of thing with him and Jarvis Landry. But when he went to the, the Rams, no. He wasn't number one guy anymore. He was more of a number two. And that's not a bad thing. That doesn't mean, oh, man, you suck now. You're not a number one guy. No, 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 no. But when you have a Cooper Cup, it's like, oh, yeah, you, you're going to take a back seat. We saw him still made his plays. We saw him still make his mark, especially as Ravens fans, hello. But he wasn't the number one guy. So this is the, the Green Bay Packers letting him know, like, look, hey, we know what you're capable of, but the room is it, pretty deep. You got Alan Lazard. You got um, Garrett Wilson. You got McCole Hardman. You got Corey Davis for now. I think everybody just waiting on that announcement. Oh, the Jets released Corey Davis. Just waiting on it. I feel like, feel like just like Aaron Rodgers, it was a matter of time. Corey Davis is a matter of time, too. But anyway, so you, 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 got, you got some nice pieces. Like, and if you add Odell Beckham Jr. to that, and it's Aaron Rodgers, oof. That could be nasty, man. Like, really thinking about that. Alan Lazar, Garrett Wilson, McCole Hoffman, Odell Beckham Jr. That, four wide receiver sets looking like that. Oh, the options, the choices Aaron Rodgers would have. I mean, they got to get Aaron Rodgers first. But anyway, this is them letting him know, in my opinion, this could be them letting him know when this meeting does happen. Like, look, you will be a role player here. You're going to get your chances now. You know, you're going to get your chances. You're going to get your opportunities, but you will not be the guy. But we're not going to ask you to be the guy. And actually, when you think about it, None of them really have to be the guy yet, but you got a lot of good guys in that room. So, anyway, um, 
But it says, how will it all fit together is a big point of discussion. And yeah, yeah, because you got some significant receivers there. And you know receivers, like what do receivers want to do? They want the ball. Receivers want the football. They want to make plays. And this is, again, this is a little side note, side discussion. When people talk about the term diva, I hate it, especially for receivers, because people call a receiver that demands the ball, that calls for attention for the ball. They, oh, that's a, that's a diva. Why? Because they want to do their job? Because they want to contribute? That makes them a diva? And anyway, another conversation for another day. But that's what they should want to do. They should want to contribute. They should. I remember when Odell Beckham Jr., the whole, the, the, the net game, the, the, the game where he kicked the net. And I, I, the, was it the same game or the following game? I know it was the Ravens game where he proposed to the net because the Ravens secondary was like, oh, no, 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 Odell Beckham Jr., we're going to let you make up for, that, for kicking the net. We got you. Trust me, we got you. And he proposed to the net in that Ravens game. But I'm not sure if it was the same game, if it was early in that same game where he kicked it or it was a different game. I think it was a different game. But either way, remember with Odell Beckham Jr., so many people tried to call, oh, he's a diva for doing that. Oh, man, what a sore loser. No, no. he's a receiver that want to make plays for his team. So, yeah, he's going to get frustrated. Yeah, he got upset. Okay, and who cares? But anyway, so then, so that, so that first report, I was like, oh, okay, Odell Beckham Jr., he going there to hear everything. And we'll just read straight through it this time without breaking down piece by piece. Real quick, again, it says, the Jets' long-awaited meeting with wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. will be, a, will be multifaceted. It will include not only a physical, but also a thorough discussion of what to expect in an Aaron Rodgers-led offense with a deep wide receiver room. How will it all fit together is a big point of discussion. And then Ian Rappaport followed that up with this. Uh, the two sides will also have to work out a deal. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, unless the Ravens in bird-like fashion, they end up swooping in from above out of nowhere. Like, I said, it, it ain't looking too good for them, in my opinion. <clears throat> and again, this is, uh, and again, it's not over till it's over. So there's still a chance for anything, but... This is why with Odell Beckham Jr., I just could not get my hopes up uh, when it came to Odell Beckham Jr. Because it was like, ah, I just, I don't know. I don't see it. Because, not that I don't see it, because, again, it's, it's a real possibility of something that could really happen. But at the same time, like, ah, uh, if he, if you got to compare Odell Beckham Jr., you got to compare his situation to he's looking at the Jets. And it's like, huh. All right, New York, New York, okay. They about to get Aaron Rodgers, okay. They got them other receivers too. Then he's looking at the Ravens. And it's like, oh, Baltimore, Baltimore, okay. Who would be throwing me the ball? Would it be Lamar Jackson? Would it be Tyler Huntley? Would it be uh, Anthony Brown? Would it be Anthony Richardson? I don't know. Would it be Stetson Bennett? Um, Especially after that little video dropped. That's going to drop his draft stock. So, you know, Eric DaCosta and them, just talking to my guy the other day about it. Eric DaCosta and them, they looking at that video like, oh, yes, that's been a draft. Is his stock dropping? Oh, yeah. But um, I don't know, man. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I'm not liking Ravens' chances right now when it comes to landing in Odell Beckham Jr. But, like everything, we won't know till we know. So, until we do, we'll see. I know some Ravens fans are like, keep hope alive. Some Ravens fans are like, oh, no, no, I, let them go to New York. Because I, I've seen um, a lot of discourse amongst Ravens fans, just fans in general, but definitely Ravens fans because that's who we interact the most with. Um, but they, a, a lot of Ravens fans feel like with Odell Beckham Jr., like Ravens are doing a lot of the same old stuff. Getting a receiver past the age of 30, um, past his prime, uh, who's dealt with a lot of injuries, um, and just hasn't been able to stay healthy, and it's just not not that guy anymore. And I can understand uh, how and why a lot of Ravens fans will feel that way. I really do. Um, now, when it comes to Odell Beckham Jr., something that I've said on here a lot is that, hey, I, I would not mind Odell Beckham Jr. at all. I, I would not mind it at all. But he wouldn't be enough, in my opinion. It would be a nice little... It'd be, it'd be a nice shift from what the Ravens normally do a little bit because of the name, because of what he's done, what he's accomplished. But I don't think it would be enough um, because you're especially depending on everything, like, again, with the injuries and stuff, you know, he's, he's dealt with injuries his whole career, really, from his rookie year because he, he missed a bunch of games his rookie year, still broke a bunch of records. Uh, he missed a bunch of time throughout his career. Um, but now what you would hope for would be that he's good to go 
after the last surgery. Um, I know one of my guys, Brad, in, in a Twitter space is like last week or the week before last, he was talking about how he doesn't feel like Odell Beckham Jr. He said the last time he saw Odell Beckham Jr. playing, he doesn't feel like he was good at separating. He said he just didn't look like he could separate that much anymore. Uh, he said he looked like he could before, early in his career, but like with the Rams, he just felt like he couldn't really separate like that. And I was thinking, well, hey, that could be the case, or hey, maybe he wasn't all the way healthy. Maybe, maybe that leg wasn't all the way where it was supposed to. Maybe it wasn't 100%. I don't know. I don't know. And we won't really know till we see him play this year uh, for whatever team it ends up being. Will it be New York? Probably. Will it be MT Bank Stadium for nine out of uh, 17 games? Probably not. <laughs> but we don't know, man. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you for clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like it seems to be, in my opinion, when it comes to the Ravens being in on the Odell Beckham Jr. sweepstakes, we out.